Right now on Good Morning Northwest, with Super Tuesday all wrapped up, we look towards the Washington State Presidential Primary and just what your tax dollars are doing during this process. And three initiatives have made it through the Washington State Legislature, one that could change how much information parents have about their children's school activities. Plus, meteorologist Tiffany Savona has your full weather forecast. Good Morning Northwest starts right now. This is Apple Valley News Now. Good morning, Northwest. On your side. Good morning, and thank you for joining us for Good Morning Northwest. I'm Jessica Delal. The time is 5 a.m. on Wednesday, March 6th. Happy Hump Day. We're halfway through the work week. Let's check in right away on your chilly forecast with meteorologist Tiffany Savona. And Tiffany, I was not expecting these temperatures when I was coming in. <laughs> They dropped a little bit lower than anticipated, Jessica. That's what happens when you have a clear sky and light winds overnight. So we're significantly colder than where we were at this time yesterday. Anywhere from about 5 to 15 degrees colder than 24 hours ago. And we are down to 20 degrees. This is the air temperature in the Tri-Cities. 21 in Hermiston, 28 Walla Walla, 25 in Yakima, and 23 degrees at Hanford. There's just a light breeze out there, but where that wind is blowing, it likely feels like the teens. So today, prepare for a very cold morning. We don't have any fog out there right now, but there is a chance that we could have some fog develop, especially where those winds have calmed down. So temperatures starting off in the 20s this morning in Yakima, lots of sunshine, 48 degrees. Highs around 50 again in the Tri-Cities. That's what we saw yesterday. So a very similar day to what we saw yesterday. Plenty of sunshine, 46 degrees in Walla Walla. Now we will see a gradual warm out through the rest of the week. So we'll show you that seven day forecast coming up in a bit. Jessica. Thank you, Tiffany. And in order for your vote to count for Washington State's presidential primary on March 12th, you must check a box on the outside of your ballot declaring yourself either a Democrat or Republican and select a candidate from that party. It's the only state election that's run this way. What makes this election different is that it isn't for the people, but for the political parties themselves. It helps determine the party delegates that are going to go from Washington to the national convention based on who gains more support from Washington voters. We understand that people want to feel independent and be able to choose, you know, at different times to be a part of different parties. And we understand that, but for this particular race at this particular time, we're asking you to pick a team and we're asking you to participate um, in that team, in that team's choice. But why are taxpayers footing the bill if the results are being used by the parties for the nomination process? We hear from county election officials and state party leaders later on Good Morning Northwest. And three of six initiatives to the legislature have been approved by Washington State Legislature this year. Initiative 2111 adds another layer to Washington's income tax ban, which has faced scrutiny since the capital gains tax went into effect several years ago. I-2113 loosens the restrictions on police chases in Washington even further, allowing law enforcement officers to start a chase if they have reasonable suspicion that a person has committed any crime, not just violent ones. And lawmakers also approved I-2081, creating a parent's bill of rights. The initiative tightens requirements about when schools must contact parents along with information schools are required to provide. While those seem like all good things at first glance, there's concern about the way the new law could be interpreted. Really unintended consequences like um, schools keeping lists of um, the students that might go to a gay straight alliance and making that available to parents upon request. I don't think any of us really like the idea of the government keeping a list of what clubs we attend and then sharing it with anybody who inquires. It's very concerning. Um, and. Our read of this bill is that it would allow that. Initiatives don't have to be signed or vetoed by the governor. They'll simply go into effect later this year. And now that they've been approved by lawmakers, three other initiatives that lawmakers have decided not to take action on are expected to head to the November ballot for a statewide vote. Ethan Coates, an eighth grader at Bethlehem Lutheran from Richland, recently finished a week-long term as a page for the Washington State Senate at the Capitol in Olympia. Senator Matt Bonke was uh, sponsoring Ethan, who was one of only 32 students from across the state who got to participate. The Senate Page program provides Washington students with a firsthand experience of working in the legislature. 
Duties include transporting documents between offices, delivering messages and mail, attending the Senate chamber, and participating in page school sessions focused on parliamentary procedure and the legislative process. Students also have the opportunity to engage in drafting their own bills and participate in a mock committee. Ethan says his favorite part was being on the Senate floor and he says, he says, quote, I wanted to become a page because I love the history and learning that comes with the experience. And Washington State Patrol conducted a small private escort for Trooper Christopher Gadd's body in a procession to Everett yesterday. The 27-year-old trooper was killed after being struck by a car early Saturday morning on Interstate 5 near Marysville. The family released a statement expressing appreciation to the community for the outpouring of support they've witnessed. Trooper Gad's family has asked that all cards for the family be sent to the Washington State Patrol Office in Marysville, and the address is on your screen. It's also up on our website, and the Yakima County Sheriff's Office has identified the man who died after an avalanche collapsed on him at Darlin Mountain on Friday. According to the Yakima County Sheriff's Office, the man who died was 59-year-old Michael Wayne Chandler of Moxie, Washington. The Northwest Avalanche Center says two snowmobilers were at the 6,600 foot level near Dar uh, Darlin Mountain when they triggered an avalanche. Officials said they were only able to make it halfway up the avalanche uh, because of heavy or the avalanche site, excuse me, because of heavy snow drifts on the roadways and trails. They said rescuers made it to the avalanche site around 3 a.m. and they were able to recover the body. Straight ahead on Good Morning Northwest, legislation to restart IVF in Alabama is likely to pass the state Senate and House by this evening and become law as early as tonight. And taking a look at sky cam, 20 degrees out, but there's no wind chill right now. And Tiffany Savona will have more and we'll be back with more headlines after this. Ben Franklin Transit is hiring safety-oriented coach operators. Become a crucial part of the Tri-Cities community and provide a vital service to our riders. Get out from behind a desk and experience a workday that keeps you moving. Enjoy CDL training, comprehensive benefits, and generous paid time off. When you're driving for Ben Franklin Transit, you're part of a growing team of community-oriented professionals. Apply now to join the Ben Franklin Transit team. Want to test drive U.S. Cellular's network free for 30 days? Yeah. Use this app. Want to do it even faster? Here we go. Oh, wow. U.S. Cellular works great out here. Wow. Well, still have 5G here, too. Hey, I wonder if U.S. Cellular lets me stream in my... Rec room. Yep, it's working. Hey, thanks for the lift. Test drive U.S. Cellular's award-winning network free for 30 days. For 600 different cigars and 125 pipe tobaccos, it's the Educated Cigar. For every cigar rated 96 and higher by Cigar Aficionado, it's the Educated Cigar. For 200 accessories, including dozens of humidors and fine pipes, it's the Educated Cigar. At the Educated Cigar, you can enjoy your favorite adult beverage and food from the on-site bar and restaurant while smoking and viewing the big game. Family owned and operated since 1998, open seven days a week. Oh my gosh, wow, who am I? Wow, is that really me? <laughs> Hi, I'm Jonathan Greenhut, the CEO of Plexiderm. All it takes is 10 minutes to reduce the appearance of under eye bags, wrinkles, and crow's feet. The instant results are from naturally based silicates found in shell clay. Once applied, your skin tightens and firms. Take action with our Plexiderm 10 minute challenge. Try it today for only $14.95, plus get free shipping. Visit plexidermtrial.com or call the number on your screen. The news you care about most is news that happens close to home. At Apple Valley News Now, our coverage focuses on Yakima. Tri-Cities, Walla Walla, and all areas from the Blues to the Cascades. Families, schools, safety, plus so much more. We got it covered. Plus, we'll tell you what's on the way and how it will affect you and your family. On air, online, and mobile. We're Apple Valley News Now, and we're on your side. We're on your side. We're Apple Valley News Now, always on your side. It's happening, isn't it? No. Yes. Three, two, one. I'd like to propose a toast to my companions. 
People want to love you. You should let them love all of you. Find out who wins on movie's biggest night. The Oscars, hosted by Jimmy Kimmel. Live Sunday at a new time, 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific on ABC. Operation Best Friend on Good Morning Northwest. Sponsored by Windermere Group One. Welcome back to Good Morning Northwest. In health news, in vitro fertilization work could resume in Alabama as early as tomorrow or Friday. State lawmakers have key votes set for today. Amy Kiley reports the IVF legislation is on a fast track. Okay. <laughs> legislation that would restart in vitro fertilization in Alabama could become law by tonight or tomorrow. The state house and Senate are poised for votes today. They're in response to a state Supreme Court ruling last month calling a frozen embryo a child. Lawmakers say they want to create a shield from legal liability. Patients need to have uh, the same protection as the doctors and the providers, and that's what we're trying to do. Alabama Governor Kay Ivey says she expects passage and will sign the legislation. In the meantime, clinics say they're on hold because they fear civil and criminal penalties. It's so incredibly unfortunate because it really leaves these patients in a, a very bad spot. At least two clinics say they're eager to resume treatments, and some families already have their frozen embryos. As it stands, we, we don't have a choice on if we want to use that or not. We're kind of locked out of that decision right now. The reality is without doing another embryo transfer without doing IVF, without having access to it, like my journey ends. Some critics say the legislation should go further. They want to address the court's declaration that an embryo is a child. Can I take this embryo off income tax? Can I apply for school choice? I'm Amy Kiley reporting. Alabama lets governor sign bills electronically and that could expedite enactment. And it's been a long-held view that menopause can raise the risk for depression or other mental health problems in women. But a new study suggests that is not true. Researchers at Brigham and Women's Hospital in Massachusetts and in Melbourne, Australia, found the risk for depression in menopausal women is overstated. And they determined that there was no universal link between the two. But the research did find factors that could increase a woman's chance of depression during menopause. Those include previous episodes of depression or other mental health issues, stressful life events, and disruption from hot flashes. And researchers suggest doctors take a more nuanced approach to diagnosing and treating a woman who may be experiencing mental health issues while in menopause. And the research is published in the journal The Lancet. A Franklin County pharmacy technician has been suspended for diverting pain medications. And that's according to the Washington Department of Health. Elizabeth Marie Quintero's license has been suspended by the Pharmacy Quality Assurance Commission pending further legal action. Quintero admitted she has diverted 1,000 pills of hydrocodone, commonly called Vicodine and Oxycodone or Oxycontin, for pain caused by injuries from a car accident. Quintero has been fired and charged with theft in Pasco Municipal Court. She has 20 days to respond to the charges and will not be allowed to practice until the charges are resolved. And coming up next on Good Morning Northwest, are you interested in starting your own business? Well, when we come back, Riley Fitzgerald joins us to tell us about an event that could help your business start off on the right foot. And looking outside, dark and early, 20 degrees out, a lot chillier than it has been usually. Meteorologist Tiffany Savona will have more in that first alert full forecast. That is next. Danny was rear-ended by a semi-truck. Serious injuries. Mariano's reputation and experience gave him an advantage over the insurance company. Daniel got paid a lot. He lives up to his reputation, which is somebody who gets results. Call 853-2222. Imagine yourself in a new Toyota. Wow. <sighs> yeah. Woo! I love it. Woo! Whoa. What are we, Steve? Winners. I love you. Did you know that every new Toyota comes with Toyota Care? A two-year or 25,000-mile maintenance plan and roadside assistance. That's the value you can expect from Toyota. Ready, set, go get your Toyota today. Toyota, let's go places. At Goodwill, we're more than just a store. 
We believe in the power of community. Our devoted team of employees working hand in hand with local business partners unite to create opportunities for all. Within Goodwill's Employment Connection Center is a free walk-in job search assistance program that assists job seekers in crafting resumes, preparing for interviews, and grants access to community resources and information. We're not just building careers, we're building bridges that strengthen our community. Goodwill, where your purchases and donations transform your community. Prosser Memorial Health Board Certified Pediatricians Dr. Dennis Moore and Dr. Gary Podiski care for newborns through age 18 and are now accepting new patients at our Grandview and Prosser Clinic locations. Their services include wellness exams, school and sports physicals, and treatment for common childhood illnesses. To schedule an appointment for your child, call a Prosser Memorial Health Clinic near you or learn more at prosserhealth.org. This is how we care. Are you waking up in the morning with a sore jaw, headaches, maybe even ringing in your ears, all because you're grinding and clenching your teeth at night? That's exactly what was going on with me. I end up going to a dentist and he wants to charge over $600 for a night guard. That's when I found this, the Brooks night guard. This was a game changer. It's smaller than other night guards that I tried, which is a good thing because it doesn't make me gag. It could fit on the top or the bottom of the teeth it's lightweight and super comfortable. Now the Brux Night Guard redirects the bite force away from the back teeth, reducing jaw pain while still protecting the teeth. This unique design is what makes Brux Night Guard different from all other traditional grind guards. Go to BruxNightGuard.com and order yours today. Your teeth will thank you for it in the morning. Go to BruxNightGuard.com and use the promo code to activate your special TV offer. That's BruxNightGuard.com. Order today and take advantage of this special TV offer. Your teeth will thank you for it in the morning. Danny was rear-ended by a semi-truck. Serious injuries. Mariano's reputation and experience gave him an advantage over the insurance company. Daniel got paid a lot. He lives up to his reputation, which is somebody who gets results. Call 853 Hello there. Watch live with Kelly and Mark. Weekday mornings at 9 on Apple Valley News Now. From Apple Valley News Now, first alert weather with Tiffany Savona. Welcome back to Good Morning Northwest. Hopefully everyone is having a good start to your Wednesday. We're starting off very cold outside this morning, but we don't have any fog out there right now in Richland or elsewhere across the Columbia Basin. That is good news, but we'll watch for the potential for it to develop over the next hour, hour and a half. And once we get past sunrise, we'll be in the clear. 24 hour temperature change showing that we're a good 10 to 15 degrees colder than where we were at this time yesterday. That's what happens when you have a clear sky and light winds overnight. Temperatures drop like a rock and we drop down to 20 in the Tri-Cities, 21 in Hermiston, 24 Prosser, 28 in Walla Walla, 25 in Yakima. And look at Cleelum and Ellensburg down into the teens this morning so it certainly feels more like a december or january morning compared to what it should this time of year in march satellite and radar showing that all is quiet across washington and oregon not much going on and we're thankful for that it has been a very active season and here's the weather pattern over the next few days this dip in the jet stream over the pacific northwest that's going to keep high and low temperatures below average over the next day or so. Then tomorrow, this ridge of high pressure will move in from the Pacific Ocean. So we'll see a gradual warm up by the end of the week and into the weekend. And on Friday, high pressure dominating our weather. That will be one of the warmest days. It will be seasonable and dry, but notice off to the west, we have another dip in the jet stream. This area of low pressure will be moving in this weekend. So we'll see a pattern change and the weather pattern gets more active as we head into the weekend as well. But until then, enjoy the nice dry weather. Enjoy the sunshine today. We'll see wall-to-wall -wall sunshine, maybe a few clouds this afternoon, but not many. High temperatures today, several degrees below average in the Tri-Cities. We should top out around 56. This time of year, we're only looking at highs around 50, so very similar to what we saw yesterday. 47 for your high in Prosser, 47 in Hanford, 48 Yakima, and 46 in Walla Walla. Overnight tonight, we're mainly clear once again. That may allow some patchy fog to develop by tomorrow morning. Our future cast trying to hint at that, especially along the foothills 
of the blues. We'll have to watch for that. But with a mainly clear sky overnight and tomorrow morning, as long as fog doesn't develop, you should be able to see Venus, Mars, and the moon clustered pretty close together. You want to look in the southeast sky about 34 minutes, 30 to 40 minutes before sunrise, that is, which puts it around 545. This will be visible tomorrow morning, and it should be visible Friday morning as well as the moon gets lower on the horizon. So by tomorrow morning, we're dealing with temperatures in the 20s once again, so another very cold start. Tomorrow afternoon, more sunshine and pleasant with highs in the upper 50s, upper 40s rather, and lower 50s. We wish we were in the upper 50s today, right? 50 degrees today, 52 tomorrow in the Tri-Cities, 56 on Friday. And then we keep it where we should be for this time of year this weekend, but notice that those rain chances are back in play, especially by the end of the weekend into next week. 48 in Yakima today, 49 on Thursday. We're in the low 50s Friday and Saturday. Walla Walla, we keep it in the 40s. Friday, we'll finally see that warm up middle 50s, but it turns rainy by the end of the weekend into early next week, and those 50s are back starting today in Hermiston. Jessica? Thank you, Tiffany. Happening today, it's an opportunity for people interested in starting up a local business to get some resources all in one place. Riley Fitzgerald joins us live now in studio. Good morning, Riley. So what should the community know about this event that's happening later on today? Good morning, Jessica. The Tri-Cities Regional Chamber of Commerce is hosting a small business resource fair today. I'm told it's a very personalized event where people will be able to get the answers to just about any of their questions. It's free and open to the community or anyone who may be interested in starting their own business. Owners or entrepreneurs have the opportunity to, co to connect with representatives from local organizations, including the Regional Chamber's Business Resource Navigator, Rick Pienstra, the single point of contact for small businesses in the Tri-Cities region. He says many people starting up their own businesses just don't know about the local resources available. Um, a lot of people, when I say resources, a lot of people are looking for money. Um, small businesses need a lot of money to keep going. And, and probably 50% of what we talk about is funding for small business, but there's a lot of other resources available too. It's going to be in the Bechtel Boardroom in the Tri-Cities Business and Visitor Center at 7130 West Grand Ridge Boulevard from 3 to 6 p.m. today. Registration is not required, but attendees are encouraged to register. Find that on our website, along with some of the organizations who will be there. I also asked Rick Peenstra about what future small business owners should be aware of in the current climate. That answer is coming up on Good Morning Northwest. In studio, I'm Riley Fitzgerald. Jessica, I'll send it back to you. Thank you, Riley. And more business news. Target will soon launch a new paid membership that offers same-day delivery. The retailer announced its program called Target Circle 360 on Tuesday. It includes unlimited free same-day delivery for orders over $35 as well as free two-day shipping. It promises delivery in as little as an hour and the membership program launches April 7th for $49 a year. The price will jump to $99 a year after May 18th for those who don't have a Target card. Also Tuesday, Target announced that its sales fell last year for the first time since 2016. And now it's predicting a sluggish 2024 as shoppers are weighed down by higher prices. And when we return on Good Morning Northwest, the state of Wisconsin is synonymous with cheese. So we'll take a trip to Madison to check out the World Championship Cheese Contest. That is coming up next. Next Live, Oscar nominee Annette Bening and actor John Bradley. And this Monday, it's the ultimate after party, Lives After the Oscar Show. Today at 9 on Apple Valley News Now. Ben Franklin Transit is hiring safety-oriented coach operators. Become a crucial part of the Tri-Cities community and provide a vital service to our riders. Get out from behind a desk and experience a workday that keeps you moving. Enjoy CDL training, comprehensive benefits, and generous paid time off. When you're driving for Ben Franklin Transit, you're part of a growing team of community-oriented professionals. Apply now to join the Ben Franklin Transit team. Danny was rear-ended by a semi-truck. Serious injuries. The back end was in the back seat. There was nothing left of the rear. Danny was in pain, and the insurance company was giving him the runaround. 
Mariano's reputation and experience gave him an advantage over the insurance company that I didn't have. I felt very comforted. I felt like I was going to be taken care of. That I didn't have to worry about it. The insurance company couldn't run around me, and Daniel got paid a lot. He lives up to his reputation, which is somebody who gets results. Call 853 When it comes to what's best in a mattress, big ol' springs, memory foam, springs, foam. Denver Mattress says, why not both? Introducing the Doctor's Choice Hybrid with the cooling full body comfort of gel memory foam and individually wrapped coils featuring Boss technology. All packed in this easy to manage box. Choose from the luxury firm, Plush, and Eurotop. And rest easy knowing it's backed by our 365 night better sleep guarantee. The Doctor's Choice Hybrid, exclusively at Denver Mattress. Life can be hard. With Culligan, your water doesn't have to be. Are you an experienced machinist? We have a job for you. Pasco Machine is hiring now. We offer generous wages, overtime, double time, full medical, paid holidays, and four-day work schedule. Apply online today at pascomachine.com. For 600 different cigars and 125 pipe tobaccos, it's the Educated Cigar. For every cigar rated 96 and higher by Cigar Aficionado, it's the Educated Cigar. For 200 accessories, including dozens of humidors and fine pipes, it's the Educated Cigar. At the Educated Cigar, you can enjoy your favorite adult beverage and food from the on-site bar and restaurant while smoking and viewing the big game. Family owned and operated since 1998, open seven days a week. How long do I have to wait? Premieres Thursday, March 14th on Apple Valley News Now. Sponsored locally by Prosser Memorial Health, your five-star rated hospital. This is how we care. Stacy Lee, she's on your side. Apple Valley News Now, first alert weather. Welcome back. So this next item may sound a little cheesy, and in fact it is. The World Championship Cheese Contest is underway. It kicked off Tuesday in Madison, Wisconsin. A group of international judges will evaluate more than 3,300 cheeses. Also yogurt, butter, and dry dairy products over the next two days. The Wisconsin Cheesemakers Association has held this event every other year since 1957. And while there is no cash prize for making the best cheese, the makers behind the products will certainly have some bragging rights. The public is invited to stop by and watch the evaluations taking place, and people can even get their hands on some free samples. And the world champion will be crowned Thursday. This has made companies uh, from the bottom up. Uh, when, they, when you win a gold medal in this contest, the orders come in. And coming up on Good Morning Northwest, while former President Trump enjoyed a major win over Republican rival Nikki Haley on Super Tuesday, exit polls show an overwhelming majority of Haley voters are unwilling to support the Republican nominee if it's not her. And as the conflict in Gaza continues, the United Nations is accusing Israel of deliberately starving the Palestinian people. In today's Tech Bites, a TikTok showdown. House lawmakers have introduced a bill preventing distribution of the service in the U.S. unless TikTok here in the U.S. severs its ties with its parent company, Chinese-owned ByteDance. The bipartisan measure aims to keep TikTok out of app stores. Apple is now including transcripts for its podcasts. The auto-generated transcripts will appear shortly after a podcast is published. But podcasters can opt out if they want to upload their own transcript or edit the one Apple provides. The feature comes with the company's latest software update. Finally, Waze is rolling out new features to help get you where you're going. The Google-owned navigation app will soon let you know when speed limits are about to drop, also the best ways to get through a roundabout. It's also adding information about parking garage locations. Those are your Tech Bites. Have a great day.
there's something going around the Gordon hole. Good thing Gertrude found Delsum. Now what's going around is 12-hour cough relief. And the giggles. The family that takes Delsum together feels better together. Nature's Bounty Hair Growth. Help grow thicker, fuller hair with just one capsule a day of Advanced Hair Complex. Conquer hair thinning. And fall in love with your hair all over again. Only from Nature's Bounty. Right now on Good Morning Northwest, President Biden and former President Trump swept to victory in statewide nominating contests across the country, setting up a historic rematch in November's general election. And yesterday, United Nations experts accused Israel in a statement of, quote, intentionally starving the Palestinian people in Gaza. Meteorologist Tiffany Savona has your full weather forecast as well. Good Morning Northwest starts right now. This is Apple Valley News Now. Good morning, Northwest. On your side. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us for Good Morning Northwest. I'm Jessica Jalal. The time is 5.30 on Wednesday, March 6th. Happy Hump Day. Let's check in right away on your forecast with meteorologist Tiffany Savona. And Tiffany, what can we expect as we're just waking up this morning or heading out the door? It's very cold out there this morning. Jessica, you will need that heavy winter coat as we're looking at a clear sky and sunrise is at 625 this morning. So we have about an hour to go there. And look at these numbers. We're down to 20 in the Tri-Cities, 21 in Hermiston, 28 Walla Walla, 21 Toppenish, 25 degrees in Yakima. There's a very little breeze this morning. So where the wind is blowing, it feels more like the teens. So as you head out the door, you'll definitely need that warm jacket, the gloves, the hat. It feels more like the dead of winter this morning compared to early March. And you will certainly need those sunglasses as we will see wall to wall sunshine today. So weather will not be impacting your morning commute other than the sun glare. Temperatures in the 20s this morning rising into the upper 40s to around 50 this afternoon and for the evening commute we'll be dropping down into the upper 40s. We'll let you know when temperatures will get closer to that 60 degree mark coming up. Jessica. Thank you, Tiffany. And now on to Super Tuesday, the biggest election day of the year until November. The picture of the presidential race has become clearer. Nikki Haley's decision to drop out of the race, President Biden gliding to the Democratic nomination with his predecessor, Donald Trump, heading towards a third Republican nomination and a rematch against the president. ABC's Ike Jochi has the latest. Breaking this morning, Nikki Haley dropping out of the 2024 presidential race after winning only one state, Vermont, on Super Tuesday. Her decision makes Donald Trump the presumptive Republican presidential nominee. Sources tell ABC News Haley is not expected to endorse a candidate today. Now, the picture is clear. President Biden and former President Donald Trump will presumably face each other in November's election. Biden and Trump dominating Super Tuesday races across the country, securing delegates with notable victories in Texas and California. For Republicans, Trump winning by large margins in all states except for Vermont, whereas GOP challenger Nikki Haley walked away with her first state of the primary season. They uh, call it Super Tuesday for a reason. This is a big one. Haley winning a portion of the vote, between 20 to 30 percent in some states. Trump, not mentioning Haley by name, says it's time for the Republican Party to be unified while turning his focus to the general election. We want to have unity and we're going to have unity and it's going to happen very quickly. For Democrats, President Biden winning nearly all the delegates so far. Biden releasing a statement on the results, saying the American people have a clear choice, writing to millions of voters across the country made their voices heard, showing that they are ready to fight back against Donald Trump's extreme plan to take us backwards. Still, both candidates are facing cautionary signs. Biden continues to see voter pushback for his handling of Israel's war with Hamas. On Tuesday in Minnesota, an unusually high number of Democrats voting uncommitted in protest. As for Trump, his his issues stem from suburban and women voters turned off by his message and rhetoric. Looking ahead, President Biden will have a chance to reinforce his campaign message at Thursday's State of the Union address, where for the first time, the entire message will be live streamed from the POTUS Instagram account. And Washington State's presidential primary is on March 12th. Since Washington State is a vote by mail state, primary ballots have already gone out in the mail. 
voters must select a political party for the presidential primary only. And you can fill out and return the ballot either through the mail or leave it in an official ballot drop box. And don't forget to sign it in order for your vote to count. Around the world now, United Nations experts are accusing Israel of intentionally starving the Palestinian people in Gaza. In a statement, they claim Israel is now targeting civilians, seeking humanitarian aid and humanitarian convoys. They demand Israel stop what it called a campaign of starvation. Israel has consistently denied targeting civilians, saying its war is against Hamas. Israeli authorities regularly say there's no limit on humanitarian aid for civilians in Gaza. Coming up next on Good Morning Northwest, the Biden administration has announced a rule to cap all credit card late fees, the latest effort in the White House push to end junk fees and a move that regulators say will save Americans up to $10 billion a year. And looking outside, temperature is still 20 degrees, no wind chill, but it is very cold out there. Meteorologist Tiffany Savona will have more details in that first alert full forecast. Keep it right here. You've got four days, and four days only to save like never before. During the four-day super sale at Furniture Row. That's four days to save 100 bucks on every thousand you spend. Plus, get four years no interest financing. But hurry, the four-day super sale at Furniture Row ends soon. Time for a new roof? Let Eminem Roofing replace it with the product so good, you'll never have to replace it again. All roofs come with a limited lifetime warranty. Never replace a roof again. With the rain and wind comes roof damage. Don't wait till it's an emergency. Call today to receive 0% financing on approved credit. So if it's time for a new roof or siding, let Eminent Roof replace it with our certified installers. Because when it's all said and done, this is a sign you'll want your yard. Oh my gosh. Wow. Who am I? Wow, is that really me? <laughs> Hi, I'm Jonathan Greenhut, the CEO of Plexiderm. All it takes is 10 minutes to reduce the appearance of under eye bags, wrinkles, and crow's feet. The instant results are from naturally based silicates found in shell clay. Once applied, your skin tightens and firms. Take action with our Plexiderm 10 minute challenge. Try it today for only $14.95 plus get free shipping. Visit PlexidermTrial.com or call the number on your screen. In life's delicate moments, turn to the compassionate experts at Tri-Cities Chaplaincy. Whether it's hospice, palliative, or grief care for adults and children, we are here for you in Benton and Franklin counties. And the best part, our grief support comes at no cost to you. When life gets tough, we're here to guide you, ensuring you live your best life, even through the toughest moments. Visit us today at tccbestlife.org. Life is a whirlwind. Uh when there's disaster to deal with, who are we? 911, what's your emergency? Let's go, let's go! That's it, go back, go back, go back! I'm right here with you. That's happening, isn't it? No. Yes. Three, two, one. <laughs> I'd like to propose a toast to my companions. People want to love you. You should let them love all of you. Find out who wins on movie's biggest night. The Oscars, hosted by Jimmy Kimmel. Live Sunday at a new time, 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific on ABC. You've got four days, and four days only to save like never before. During the four-day super sale at Furniture Row. That's four days to save 100 bucks on every thousand you spend. Plus, get four years no interest financing. But hurry, the four-day super sale at Furniture Row ends soon. E.T. and Extra, tonight at 7 on Apple Valley News Now. Extra, extra. Welcome back in consumer news. A new plan to crack down on the high prices that we're paying for food services and even credit card fees. But this new plan unveiled by the White House is being met with a heavy amount of skepticism. ABC's Ike Jachi explains. The American people are tired of being played for suckers. 
This morning, a controversial move by the White House to lower the credit card late fees that millions of Americans pay each month. The new move will cap late fees at $8 per month. That's a quarter of the current average fee of $32. The president accuses banks of being greedy. Well, we estimate banks are generating five times more in late fees than it costs to collect late payments. They're padding their profit margins. Americans currently hold a record level of credit card debt, an average of $6,000 per family. The new cap will save those who pay their bills after the due date, an average of about $220 per year. But opponents say this change will end up hurting most Americans. The U.S. Chamber of Commerce, which says it will sue to stop the change, says capping late fees punishes Americans who pay their credit card bills on time by forcing them to pay for those who don't. This will result in fewer card offerings and limit access to affordable credit for many consumers. They say if they, if they lose that revenue stream or it's greatly reduced from those late fees, they're going to be forced to raise uh, credit card interest rates on everyone. Biden wants to go further than just capping credit card late fees. He announced a new task force yesterday to crack down on what he calls unfair and illegal pricing on everything from groceries to prescription drugs. Led by the FTC and Justice Department, the task force will work with other agencies to target businesses that break the law and keep prices high. Critics say the Biden administration is just deflecting attention from high inflation. The notion that government is in a better position to decide whether to pass on a price increase through quantity or through price just strikes me at the root of free market capitalism. Ike Ajachi, ABC News, Washington. As for the new rule capping credit card fees, if it clears any legal hurdles, it will take effect in May. An Eastern Washington Congresswoman and Energy and Commerce Committee Chair Kathy McMorris Rogers announces that the committee is holding a hearing Thursday called Legislation to Protect American Data and National Security from Foreign Adversaries. Two pieces of bipartisan legislation will be considered at the hearing, a bill called Protecting Americans from Foreign Adversary Controlled Applications Act and another called Protecting Americans a Data from Foreign Adversaries Act. McMorris Rogers says, quote, at our hearing last year with the CEO of TikTok, we saw a company that was repeatedly caught lying about its relationship with ByteDance and the Chinese Communist Party. It confirmed our worst fears that applications controlled by foreign adversaries like TikTok are exploiting and weaponizing Americans' data and pose a clear national security threat to the United States. The hearing is open to the public and will be streamed at energycommerce.house.gov. And a right to repair bill has passed through the Oregon State Legislature. Pending approval from Governor Tina Kotek, the bill allows consumers to repair their own electronics by eliminating manufacturer restrictions. Not being able to repair phones outside of the manufacturer, which is often expensive, causes people to throw away their phones instead and causing what is called e-waste thought to be the fastest growing type of waste in the world. Oregon Senator Janine Solomon says in part, Oregonians deserve to have affordable and sustainable options for repairing their electronics instead of throwing them away or replacing them. And more people are filing their taxes for free this year compared to a year ago. The IRS says use of its free file system is up 9.7 percent from last year. About 943,000 taxpayers have used the free option through late February. You need an adjusted gross income of $79,000 or less to be eligible for free file. The system lets taxpayers file for free using one of eight IRS partners. And you can find details at irs.gov. Up next on Good Morning Northwest, middle schoolers in Connecticut are going cell phone free participating in a pilot program that officials hope will keep them from getting distracted in class. And looking outside, temperature is still 20 degrees. Very cold out there. Turn your heat seaters or seat heaters on, whatever you call them. Meteorologist Tiffany Savona will have more in that first alert full forecast. That is next. Don't go anywhere. Hello there. Watch live with Kelly and Mark. Weekday mornings at 9 on Apple Valley News Now. Mr. Box. I had this idea. Is it giving people lots of great food for $6 and letting them choose between two delicious sandwiches? Great idea, Devin. Run with it. That went well. And you run and get my $6 jackpack. Welcome to Jack in the Box. Imagine yourself in a new Toyota. Wow. <sighs> yeah. Woo! I love it. Woo! Whoa. Oh, hey. Hey. <laughs> 
What are we, Steve? Winners. I love you. Did you know that every new Toyota comes with Toyota Care? A two-year or 25,000-mile maintenance plan and roadside assistance. That's the value you can expect from Toyota. Ready, set, go get your Toyota today. Toyota, let's go places. So we spend a third of our lives sleeping. Shouldn't we try to get the best sleep possible? That's why Denver Mattress is all about that sleep life. And during the four-day super sale, the more you buy, the more you save. Save 100 bucks on every thousand you spend. Check out the Summit Firm for only $299.99 or save $300 on any Telluride. Plus, four years no interest, no down payment, and free shipping. Improve your sleep life one night at a time, only at Denver Mattress. The easiest way to get the right mattress. For 600 different cigars and 125 pipe tobaccos, it's the Educated Cigar. For every cigar rated 96 and higher by Cigar Aficionado, it's the Educated Cigar. For 200 accessories, including dozens of humidors and fine pipes, it's the Educated Cigar. At the Educated Cigar, you can enjoy your favorite adult beverage and food from the on-site bar and restaurant while smoking and viewing the big game. Family owned and operated since 1998, open seven days a week. Welcome to Premier Woodworks, your premier source for custom cabinetry and full service interior design. Our custom designs are brought to life with 3D images to help you visualize the final result. Our high quality cabinetry is crafted with care and attention to detail. From kitchen and bath design to remodel project management, we're here to make your dream space a reality. Premier Woodworks, located at 109 North Washington Street in Kennewick. Oh my gosh, wow, who am I? Wow, is that really me? <laughs> Hi, I'm Jonathan Greenhut, the CEO of Plexiderm. All it takes is 10 minutes to reduce the appearance of under eye bags, wrinkles, and crow's feet. The instant results are from naturally based silicates found in shell clay. Once applied, your skin tightens and firms. Take action with our Plexiderm 10 minute challenge. Try it today for only $14.95, plus get free shipping. Visit plexidermtrial.com or call the number on your screen. My French toast sticks are back starting at $2.50. Now with a sweet new twist cinnamon sugar churro. Dunk, bite, and savor them any time of day or all day. It's totally up to you, only for a limited time. Welcome to Jack in the Box. From Apple Valley News Now, first alert weather with Tiffany Savona. Good morning and welcome back. Here is your friendly reminder that we do spring forward this weekend. I know no one likes to lose an hour of sleep. It also messes with the little one's sleep schedule. So not a fan of the daylight saving time beginning as we do turn those clocks ahead one hour before bed Saturday night. Also a good reminder to change the batteries in your smoke detectors and your carbon monoxide detectors and weather radios if you do have them. But there is an upside to the time change. We do get those later sunsets, which is nice. So right now, the sun rises just before 6.30. By Saturday, this upcoming Saturday, the sunrise will be at 6.19, sunset 5.54. But on Sunday, once we do the time change, the sun will rise later, about an hour later, 7.17 in the morning, and the sun will set just before 7 o'clock. So we have to look forward to those later sunsets. As we take a live look out of our Legends Casino Hotel Skycam in Richland this morning, I believe that's the waning crescent moon there, just below or just above the horizon, I should say. And the sunrise this morning, 625, so the sky getting a little bit brighter out there as we speak. Temperatures are anywhere from 5 to about 15 degrees colder than where they were 24 hours ago. It is a very cold start all across the Columbia Basin. It's 20 in the Tri-Cities right now. 28 Walla Walla, 21 in Hermiston, 25 in Yakima, 17 in Ellensburg. Thankfully, there's not much wind out there, but where there is a little bit of a breeze, it'll feel a few degrees colder. All is quiet across the Pacific Northwest as high pressure will be building in over the next couple of days, and that's going to be responsible for our dry weather. So today we still have that dip in the jet stream, but we're gonna keep it dry because we really don't have any pieces of energy moving through, but that dip will keep temperatures below average this time of year. Tomorrow, this ridge of high pressure starts to move in from the south and west, so temperatures warm a little bit. And then on Friday, that'll be one of our warmest days this week. 
but it's going to be seasonable for this time of year. So we're really not going to rise above average. We're going to rise to around where we should be for this time of year. And then it becomes unsettled this weekend as that high pressure moves east and that low offshore moves into the Pacific Northwest. So let's talk about today. Wall to wall sunshine this morning. We may see a few clouds this afternoon. Not many out there. High temperatures still on the cool side, but it'll be nice to have the sun out. 50 degrees in the Tri-Cities, 46 Walla Walla, 47 in Prosser, 47 in Toppenish, and 48 in Yakima. Tonight, mainly clear, light winds that could allow some patchy fog to develop as temperatures drop back down into the 20s. It's going to be another cold morning tomorrow, but by tomorrow afternoon, we're up to 52, 56 where we should be for this time of year on Friday. That'll be nice. And then we do turn more active as we head into the weekend. I think there will be plenty of dry time Saturday, better rain chances Sunday into Monday and Tuesday next week. 48 in Yakima today, 49 Thursday, around 50 Friday and Saturday with lower 50s returning next week. Walla Walla, we keep it chilly today and tomorrow, but those 50s return on Friday. That'll feel like a nice warm up. 54 on Saturday, better chances for rain arrive Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Hermiston, 50 today, 52 tomorrow, 54 on Friday, and then getting close to 60 by the weekend, but unfortunately, those rain chances will be returning. Jessica? Thank you, Tiffany. In some education news, Connecticut is debating whether to shut the cell up in every classroom across the Constitution state, but with a method you usually only see at concerts and comedy shows. Here's ABC's Andrea Fuji with the story. If you were to walk around the building, you would, you would not see a phone in this place. These middle schoolers in Connecticut are going cell phone free. Participating in a pilot program, the governor hopes will keep them from getting distracted in class. I'm showing my age, but I do find that social media is sometimes fundamentally antisocial. And I think too much smartphone makes you stupid. The kids have the option of leaving their phones at home or locking them in this pouch. Students get to hold on to the pouch, but can't access their phones until they're unlocked at the end of the day. So far, the program is getting mixed reviews. It's important to them to have a cell phone in case of emergency. I'm not a fan of cell phones in school. I didn't grow up with cell phones in school. We got them taken away. We had to keep them home. Actually, I didn't even have one until senior year, so... I would love for no cell phones. The governor is pushing state lawmakers to regulate cell phone use in schools. Florida was the first to take a stand on the issue last year, banning student phone use during class and blocking access to social media on school district Wi-Fi. Lawmakers in Oklahoma, Kansas, and Vermont have also introduced proposals for phone-free schools. And Congress is taking up the issue, looking into the mental health and academic issues. Some kids in Connecticut agree being phone-free in school isn't so bad. Time to time, we just take it out and use them out of nowhere and we get distracted very easily and I could 100% agree with that. Critics of the various government proposals say it should be up to schools to police phone use. One survey found nearly 80% of schools nationwide already ban phones for non-academic use. And when we return on Good Morning Northwest, a man in Niagara Falls, New York is taking steps to bring awareness to a cause close to his heart literally as he's committed to rucking 222 miles to help homeless veterans. Next Live, Oscar nominee Annette Bening and actor John Bradley. And this Monday, it's the ultimate after party, Lives After the Oscar Show. Today at 9 on Apple Valley News Now. The White Card, a powerful resource for former Hanford and DUE employees. If you worked in the area and have come down with cancer, lung disease, Parkinson's, or renal failure, you may be eligible for financial compensation and health care services. A simple phone call can get the process started. Atomic Home Health. Don't wait. Call today. Time for a new roof? Let Eminem Roof and replace it with the product so good, you'll never have to replace it again. All roofs come with the limited lifetime warranty. Never replace roof again. With the rain and wind comes roof damage. Don't wait till it's an emergency. Call today to receive 0% financing on approved credit. So if it's time for a new roof or siding, let Eminent Roofing replace it with our certified installers. Because when it's all said and done, this is the sign you'll want in your yard. So, all of us are here to talk about trading. Right now at US Cellular, you can get a new phone without having to trade in your old one. Trade you my PB&J for that phone. No kid, you don't have to trade. See, $830 off any phone at U.S. Cellular. No trade-in needed. You drive a hard bargain. Boom. Chocolate milk. You don't have to trade. I'll take the chocolate milk. Okay. 
Get $830 off any phone. No trade-in needed. U.S. Cellular. Built for us. Young and old, come dance a night away. Active for Life presents Senior Prom. The festivities take place March 28th at the Red Lion Pasco. This year's theme is Dancing Through the Decades. This event is open to the public, so grab your favorite senior and dress up in your favorite decade. There'll be a red carpet walkthrough with dinner, drinks, and dancing, plus a photo booth, games, and tons of prizes. Get your tickets online at Solutions in Home Care, Wheatland Bank, or Family Resource Home Care. Senior Prom at the Pasco Red Lion. Brought to you by Active for Life's fine sponsors and title sponsor Chinook Home Healthcare. When Fred's advertises it, we've got it. Fred's warehouses are loaded with inventory. When your fridge stops working, you need a new one and you need it now. Fred's has them in stock. The box stores never have this much inventory on hand. You can wait weeks for delivery. At Fred's, get your new appliance the next day. Fred's always has the guaranteed lowest price and shows you competitors' prices on our price tag. Fred's Appliance. We sell appliances, only appliances. Hi, I'm Don Stone, and this is my husband, Randy. And we built this kitchen. No, Tim did. Hi. You see, our kitchen used to look like this. It just wasn't us. So I went to Par, and that's where I met Gail, who helped me choose my cabinets, countertops, and hardware at the Par Design Center. And we love the results. So you could say, I designed this kitchen. Yep. Par, family owned since 1930. Go where the builders go. What are you going to build? Stacy Lee, she's on your side. Apple Valley News Now, first alert weather. It's a very cold start on this Wednesday morning, so make sure you have the heavy coat, the gloves, and the hat as you head out the door. We're dealing with widespread 20s out there. And this afternoon, we will see plenty of sunshine, but it will stay on the cooler side, very similar to what we saw yesterday, 48 for your high in Yakima, 47 in Toppenish, 42 in Ellensburg, 47 Prosser, Hermiston, you should top out around 50, 50 in the Tri-Cities, 45 in Connell, and middle 40s along the foothills of the Blues, 44 Dayton, 46 in Walla Walla, and 44 degrees in Pendleton. Jessica. Thank you, Tiffany. And in New York, a soldier turned pastor is working to make a difference. John Cooper Jr. is rucking 222 miles to raise funds for homeless veterans. Derek Hyde shows us why this mission means so much to him. Rucking is walking at a fast pace with weight on your back. And the reason in the military we would do that is because in the field, when you're out training or in combat, that's what you do. You carry heavy weight on you. John Cooper Jr. is an Army veteran himself. And when he stepped away from service in 2021, he came to some harsh realizations about the city he grew up around. I drove through Niagara Falls, and some of the areas in Niagara Falls looked parallel to Kabul, Afghanistan. I think 9.5 million people a year come to see Niagara Falls but they walk right past people, um, you know, people made in the image of God who are homeless, who are in need. John is now a pastor and the executive director of the Niagara Gospel Mission. He says he felt that going back to rucking, something he did every week in the military, was a familiar feeling to the people he now serves. The uh, homeless population that we serve, they walk around with everything they own on their backs. So in honor of his own unit, the 2nd Battalion, 22nd Infantry Regiment, he is rucking 222 miles for local homeless men, women, and veterans. Yeah, I hope it um, opens people's eyes to the problem. We see it. He started on February 22nd, 222, in hopes of raising $2,222 to expand Niagara Gospel Mission's homeless shelter and recovery space. He's just one third of the way into the ruck, and he's already surpassed his fundraising goal by more than $1,000. But to see it go over, especially $1,000 over, has been, you know, just a joy. Even his own emergency shelter.